Hi guys, yeah, I'm calling DJ Deoku Yamo. Um, today I'm gonna be teaching you how to play the drums on your laptop. Mm. You see them, mm. So I'm gonna show you how to put these drum kicks on your virtual DJ 2020. So if it is a Serato DJ, I don't know, but where you don't have any controllers, this is what I use Virtual DJ 2020. So, one thing about these drum kicks is how to set them. On your virtual DJ, you have this point on it, above the sampler part. This is it. Here you have a point on your virtual DJ. Yeah, this just a something, yeah, beside, the, beside this. When you click on it, you have options of playing your drums. Yeah, as you can see, I've clicked on it. The way the drum sounds now is different. So, in order to put different different ways of playing it you have to know how to set them there so this is it as you hear that's how I set mine like for the snare part um, thumb part I've not set them because it's on my keyboard and my keyboard is very very small and the one thing about this is when you open your virtual DJ this place the, the sampler part here uh, works with this F1, F2, F3 keys those are the keys that represent the sampler part here but for my own, I've set them on the Z, X, and and other keys on the keyboard that represents the, the sampler part. So I've set it my own way. You can still do it your own way. So I'll show you how I did mine for these keys here to work. So what I did is I came here to settings up in your virtual DJ here, up to settings. I set them there. So when I click on it, I had a change. Yeah, this is the way to record. You come up this way controllers you click on it this is how your controllers will look like so you come down now what I did is like this is the key A well, let me come down let me screw for another key okay like the key B this is the this is the key B I've clicked on it it's been highlighted so this is it I'll, I'll clear like the point B on my keyboard this is the point B I know this key is talking about this so what I do is I've put it already for sampler part. This is already it on the sampler part number 13. So it is representing the sampler part number 13 on it. So when you click here, mm -hmm, like I've already done it. But if you are interested to know how I did mine, you can still comment consider below or we just ask some more of it. So I'll show you more details on it. I was just about to teach the drum. So when you play, you use the B button down on it. Mm, you come down, you select sampler part this is the sampler part here when you click on it you come here when you click here it shows you a place on your sampler part to put it so that you can represent it this is the place here you can click you can put it here anything you put there now then you save your work you go out anything you put here now will, will represent it you will represent the b button well let me look for something and then show you there um Here's my virtual DJ. Um, so this is it. Uh, I took uh, this is a sampler here. I put it here. I just carry and put. That's the shortcut of me doing. It. You see, so the B button is on it. This is like the B. You hear? That's it. That's how the sampler works. So that's it for the virtual DJ. But the main thing you're supposed to know here is this. This place. This is where you set the drum kicks. This is where you set your drum kicks. This place, at this point, that is where you set them. Thanks very much. Just like and subscribe to my page. Or follow me up on Facebook, Instagram, or DJ Derek Oyamo. Thanks very much.